Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in crypto and break them down into bite-sized pieces. So today, just as the thumbnail suggests, there is a rumble in the digital jungle. And what's going on? It's going to be a certain gold bug doing a debate against Alex Mashinsky from Celsius. I got to tell you, this is a perfect time for the gold bug as the market is dropping. So we're going to talk about that. We're also going to talk about how Celsius is absolutely crushing it and the things they're, they're doing, which is they're going to do a decentralized exchange, uh, near free swaps, and also uh, some pretty big things coming on the pipe. We'll also take a look at uh, the decentralized exchange for Cardano called Sunday Swap and uh, how I am not going to be a stake pool operator in it and why that actually happened. And lastly, we'll talk about how the mooch is pushing Bitcoin. So we'll get into all that stuff, but first, there's two things you need to go over. First, the market, and second of all, that this is a sponsored video. This is a sponsored video. We don't do too many of these, so when I do it, I'm kind of excited, and uh, I just wanna let you know, it's sponsored by Celsius, because they reached out to me after yesterday's video and I said, hey, you wanna talk about that, uh, that uh, debate going down? I was like, yes, I would. And also, would you like to talk about these uh, other things that are going on? Absolutely. So this is a sponsored post by Celsius. Don't do them too much, but I'm glad to have them on board. So let's first take a look at what's going on into the market. So today it is uh, Wednesday the 18th, I think, and the market cap is took a little tumble. I'll be honest with you, 2.58 trillion, somewhere around there. Bitcoin price had been hitting that 60K mark, and there had been some people pushing it, pushing it, pushing it as far as that 60K. But if you keep hitting that, that level of support so many times, eventually the floor gets weakened and it drops out. So now we're at 59.5. Can we hit Plan B's uh, projected Bitcoin price of uh, 98K by the end of November? Who knows? It's crypto. Just stick around. If you don't like the price, it'll change. And that's what we have. And then uh, over last, I don't know, 24 hours or so, we've seen a little bit of a decline throughout everything around here. No big losers. Avalanche is up 13%. That's pretty good. Crypto.com is up 13. Crypto.com just signed a multi-year deal to rename the Staples Center for the Los Angeles uh, Sports Arena to the Crypto.com Center. They paid like, I think, $400 million. First of all, who uses Staples anymore? I don't know if that's even open. But besides that, I mean, Crypto.com is just going gangster just by getting all this information out and just promoting and promoting and promoting that's good for the whole space so good for crypto.com i uh should have picked up more though when i had the chance but hey you can't win them all and also just real quick as far as like on-chain analysis we can take a look at crypto quant uh yes that video will be out uh with uh, me and the ceo went over on-chain analysis training i'll have it out hopefully today and uh, we don't see too many miners uh, selling off. The exchange reserve keeps declining, so people are taking their Bitcoin off of the uh, exchanges. There was a massive uh, outflow of, uh, of, of um, Ethereum. And I know some people said, well, that's just Kraken, just moving things around. I'm like, really? Kraken took off over 15 million, one and a half million Ethereum? Where they, where do, I don't know where it went to, but that's where we've got. And if we even take a look at the hour and really break this down, we can see that, I mean, it still continues to decrease. Now we're at 15.4 million as far as what is on the uh, exchanges, as far as Ethereum. And just uh, yesterday, we had over 17.6 million. So I know some people had said, oh, but you don't understand because people are, are putting uh, Ethereum back onto the exchange. I'm like, that's not what this is talking about. This is the exchange reserve. This is how much Ethereum is being taken out of the market out of the exchange itself and we've seen a huge dip of people just taking it off uh and then of course if you want to say that it's cracking taking it off okay but uh i mean if, it, if they took it off in, in one end where do they put it it should be back in their other wallets but that's not what the data is showing us but could be wrong let me know what you think about in the comment section and uh also take or buy volume you again we we keep seeing that uh that 60k mark there's some whales people whatever you want to do they're still trying to keep it at 60k that seems to be like, like the bottom and then of course this is the big one uh the leverage ratio and when we start to see a lot of leverage plays uh as far as like uh at the 0 0.2 level that's all-time highs and we are pretty much i'm gonna break this down by the hour we are pretty much at an all-time high as far as leverage plays, we can see right here. Actually, no, we just came down. So if we take a look at leverage plays, people longing and shorting Bitcoin, this is on uh, coinglass.com. You can take a look at the shorts and the longs for every different uh, exchange out there. You've got, people are shorting pretty heavy, 52%, uh, it just depends. BitMEX, 60% are going long. What are the other ones? Kraken, 
78.9% of people are going long. I stand corrected. Look at that. So you got to understand this. In these, in these markets, when people do one specific thing way too much, like if people go way too long, then you're going to see a bunch of shorts. And people short too much, then it's just too appetizing for people to come in there, and whales come in there and just like, oh yeah, I'm going to liquidate you because I'm going to go short. It just depends on what, whatever you want to do. So that is what is going on in the markets. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section. Let's move on to the big piece, which is the rumble. And I'm looking forward to this. I must admit, I cannot wait. This is going on today at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There's the gold bug in the left. Uh, then there's Mashinsky, and there is hosted by Michelle McCory from Kitco News. And uh, this is up right now. I tried to show it yesterday, but they didn't have it up. So I'm going to link this in the description of the video where it's going to be live, and you can you can submit your questions and everything else, which I will definitely be doing. And uh, this, for me, I'm in Puerto Rico, so this will be 4 p.m. my time. So we've got, uh, i got like four hours or so. But yeah, I can't wait to see what's going on. I have to tell you, this uh, plays pretty well into the gold bug's favor because we just saw a pretty massive dip. So he's going to be talking about how there's this huge dip, and it's a bubble, and it's a bubble. But you have to remember one thing, the price of gold. So if we take a look at the price of gold over the last 10 years... Pretty much the same. I don't think it's really even keeping up with inflation. Now, you can go back 20 and 30 years, and yes, you could have made a killing, but you had to wait for 30 years to do it. So look, don't get mad at me if you are a big gold bug. I own gold and I own silver. I, I love it. There's no problem with it. But I'm saying, why can't you just open up and say, you know what, maybe Bitcoin might be a good thing, especially with what has happened over the last, I don't know, 10 years as well because I can't even go back that far in CoinGecko. This is in 2013, it was 120 bucks. And now we're at, yeah, we took a dip, but if you zoom out, still looking pretty good. And then even if you take a look at gold and you're like, well, it's store of value, store of value, you still gotta deal with inflation. And if that is between seven and 15%, 15% is what people think at the, at the upper level, 7% is pretty much the government thinks, uh, it's not keeping up with inflation. Uh, so I don't know where that store of value narrative comes from. They're always going to say it's off in the, in the distance. So I'm curious to see how this all plays out. And again, I cannot wait for this to actually happen. So let me know what you think about uh, where this is going to go. I will be there waiting patiently in the wings, and we'll see how this debate all plays out. Interesting stuff. Also, uh, because uh, Celsius is a great sponsor. Thanks, Celsius. Just so you know, they have swaps coming up. So you can do all the different swaps that you want to do. Bitcoin for Ethereum, Ethereum for Mana, um, anything you really want to do. Uh, and it's for a very low cost, if not free. So they're doing that. Also, they've got the Celsius DEX coming up. Yeah, the centralized exchange. That's pretty great. So I think Celsius is doing the right thing. That's why I think uh, some of that uh, the tokens for Celsius are looking pretty good. And lastly, just so you know, promo codes. So if you have an account, all you got to do is go to enter a promo code. You put in whatever code that you want, uh, confirm it, and that's what you got to do. And there's a bunch of them. You can uh, transfer $100 worth of worth of Bitcoin in, you get $10. Transfer 25000 you get 500 You can do it with uh, Binance Coin, uh, Cardano, USDC, and so on and so forth. Also, if you don't have the Celsius app i do i use it all the time i've been using it for loans for the different properties i've been purchasing here in puerto rico works out great just go to the exchange of wallet fees there's a link in the description looks just like this and from there you can sign up it says 20 dollars here but i think it could be more i think it's like 35 or 45 now i'm not for sure i gotta update this but the affiliate link sure works just fine if you don't want to use the affiliate link that's fine just go right to Celsius. Hopefully you get the right one and don't get scammed, but you just won't get that uh, that bonus. So it's all up to you. And that's what we have as far as the Rumble, the Rumble in the Digital Jungle and Celsius crushing it. Now, the last two things, which it's interesting nuances, but this is what happened. So Sunday Swap is the decentralized exchange launching on Cardano. They had a vote uh, for who they wanted it to be for their stake pool operators because DNews, there's a, bunch of information right there, uh, is uh, is a stake pool operator for your Cardano or ADA. We uh, threw our hat in the ring and said, yeah, we'd like to do that. Now you had to vote for it. And all you had to do was just transfer a specific amount within your exchange or within your wallet, excuse me, and it would vote for you. And here's the winners that came up. And you, I want you to notice one thing. Let me blow this up so you can see it. This is how they did it. So you'll see on the, on the, 
left hand side rank one through 30 because they only took the top 30. Then it says Ada voted 135 million 42,041. But the votes were 134. So what does that mean? That means that really what this came down to was this. And that is when it says here, how is my vote counted? This one right in the center right here. How is my how is my vote counted? Your voting power is the amount of ADA controlled by the stake address, which voted at the start of Epic 302. So even if uh, we had a lot of people vote, which we did, and you can see us down here on the wait list, DNews had the seventh most amount of individuals vote for DNews. So I want to say, first of all, thank you. I really appreciate you taking the time voting for DNews, you know, taking, just taking the effort just to say, okay, I'm going to transfer this very small amount within my wallet. doesn't cost me that much, just the transaction fee, and I'll vote for DNews. Thank you. I mean, that was great. I, I, I'm blown away. But uh, so we had 737 individuals vote for us. And if we were just going by that number, we'd be number seven as far as rank. Yay. However, it doesn't work like that. Boo. It works like this. Uh, this one, uh, Wave 7, Sky and Sky 2, they had 134 votes. And they got 135,042,000 uh, ADA power. What that means is that <laughs> roughly every one of these votes had a million ADA. And uh, that's a bummer. So that's, that's something else. I mean, I will say this, though. Um, Crypto Capital Ventures... They had 2,384 votes, 3547 for ITC, and then Paul had a ton, 1307. And uh, they don't have like super big pools, but they just had a lot of people vote for them. But these ones right here, they had a lot of whales. And if you got a lot of, a lot of uh, Ada power, that's really what happens. And here on the wait list. So we uh, did not make it. It was a good try, but uh, that's how it goes. Now, Sunday Swap has not release the official uh, numbers yet this is just was uh, compiled by an individual so uh, which you could check on the blockchain so we'll see how it all works out and maybe they come back and say no we're gonna do it something differently but that's how it stands right now let me know what you think uh, that was a, a great way to do things as far as voting or what you thought anyhow that'll be interesting in the comment section which leads us to our last point and this is a good one the mooch uh, Andrew Scaramucci comes out and says Bitcoin's going to 500,000. What the heck is going on? This I thought was pretty interesting. And it made a lot of sense when he started talking about Kathy Wood from ARK Investments. So Scaramucci pretty much just said, look, uh, Kathy Wood is correct. Uh, he, he believes if ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood is correct and there are a billion wallets at the end of 2024 into the middle of 2025, he expects that these coins will easily trade at 500,000 per coin. Remember, you don't even have enough Bitcoin for every millionaire in our society to earn one coin. And I just want to show you one little snippet talking about a billion wallets. This is internet and crypto adoption. And if you can take a look here, that green line is internet users. So, and then the blue line, of course, is crypto users. And right now we are, if you want to talk about you know the crypto adoption people are actually using it it's we're pretty darn early if you take a look at it like this as opposed to where the internet is now and where crypto could be in the next four years or so so if we compare that we're actually in 1998 internet bill and the next two three years we could be close to that billion mark if it maintains that trajectory which it looks like it is doing right now so when Mooch here talks about, hey, I think we could reach 500,000 with, with a billion wallets because of what uh, Kathy Wood says, I was kind of skeptical. But then when I saw this, I'm like, that makes a heck of a lot of sense. I'll go for that. And then to finish this up, in September, Wood doubled down on her 500K Bitcoin price prediction and says, if we are right and companies continue to diversify their cash into something like Bitcoin, institutional investors start allocating 5% of their funds into Bitcoin or the crypto, we believe the price will be about half a million dollars. JP Morgan said there's only 49 million millionaires based on US dollar fiat currency. If that is true, there's only 49 million millionaires in the US alone. Uh, that's not enough for every one of them to be a whole coiner. So let's see how that works out. Anyhow, that is what is going on uh, with today's market. So look, if you made it all the way in, I wanna say thanks, I appreciate it. And everybody else, I gotta say again, thanks so much for voting. That was, that was huge. 
Yeah, I appreciate you taking the time. Just, hey, sometimes cards don't, don't land the way we want to. But that is it for today. So if you liked today's video, got a little value, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, consider subscribing. A lot of things are coming out fast and furious. We'll see how it all goes, but that's it for today. So thanks so much. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.